it's Vincent here for Spell Slingers Breakdown Episode 6. This is the finale, so I hope uh, you've been enjoying what you've got. I hope you've been... Okay. Hello and welcome to the season finale of Spell Slingers Breakdown Episode 6. I hope you've been staying tuned to this, and if not, what are you doing? Go back and watch the previous episodes. You're going to want to build up to this, because this is going to be an episode you don't want to miss. We have tons of awesome things happening, tons of fun. Don't want to miss it. Let's get right into it and introduce our first two spell slingers, in which we're going to have Luna versus Rylus. Which, fun fact, they're both created by brother and sister, siblings. So, fun thing there. Unfortunately, we don't have them playing, but we do have our two undefeated champions playing, which is Trey Falco versus Morgan Jackson. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments below, and let's get the show on the road. Hey, what's up? I'm Trey. I'm back for the final episode of Spellslinger's Breakdown. So my opponent today is Morgan, and uh, technically we're both undefeated, even though we're not going uh, based off of stats like that. But uh, I guess that's subject to change today. So I'm going to be playing Luna, uh, and she was created by the fabulous Abby Edwards. So uh, let's jump right in. Hey guys, so I'm going to be playing Luna today, so what Luna's ability is, is Tragic Magic, so once per game I may swap my hand with another player's hand. So basically my whole strategy is going to be going through and uh, basically just messing with Morgan's hand. Um, I've got Life Tap in here so that all other players must give me one card from their hand or skip their next turn. I'm going to force him to skip his turns, um, and then if ever he ends up having more cards than me, I'm just going to swap my hands. I'm going to try and keep uh, on the offensive. Uh, as much as possible, and I'm also going to try and minimize the amount of cards in his hand, and hopefully I'll be able to come out with a win. I'm back! Undefeated champion, here to destroy Trey. I've been looking down for this showdown for the longest time, people. Now, who do you think's going to win, me or Trey? Don't forget to leave a comment down in the box below saying Morgan's going to win. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to Vindicated Entertainment because today is going to be a bloodbath. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm glad you can see me destroy Trey today. Today I'll be playing with Rylus the Rune Fox. He has quite an interesting little ability, little mischievous magic there. Um, once per turn in the game, instead of playing a card, I can choose any player and take a look at their hand. When I do, I can cast a card from their hand. So, I'm going back to my original strategy here. Trying to get as many cards out of my opponent's hand so I can just bring down an onslaught. If you would have saw earlier episodes, you would have known that I went up against a little spell called Savage against my opponent, Caleb. I'm taking that strategy from you, Caleb, and I'm applying it to my deck. So we're going to have two strategies working here. Disabling my opponent's hand, and with help, I've got a little spell card called Feeble Mind, and then with Feeble Mind here, the target player can't draw cards from their for their next three turns. So for three turns, he won't be able to draw cards, and I can just get rid of every single card in his hand, and hopefully, victory. So, stay tuned, everyone. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Surge and draw a card. Okay. Furious Flames. Furious? Uh, it's not going to touch me, man. Furious Flames. Mm -hmm. Coming at you three times. I'm going to redirect that back at you. I'm going to ghost it. Okay. And you will negate an attack that targets you so you can negate one of those attacks in your own card. The other two. Yep. And I'll do rock slide and arrows of light. I'm going to play Cinder. I feel like most of his plan is revolved around this disintegrate card. Uh, you know, I did edit the other episode, so I know that's kind of what he goes for. So. If I can get that out of his hand early, like now, perfect. Meta strategy! <laughs> that target player can only be blocked by rage spells. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, I had a plan for that card the entire time. Man, I can't believe he just got rid of this at the beginning of the game. He's so lucky.
How in the world does he keep blocking all my freaking spells right now? I'm coming at him with everything I have got. Gosh! <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna petrify you again. Okay. Did he just petrify me? Oh. No, I like you're getting petrified. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I finally got my life tap. So now he's either gonna have to give me a card from his hand, or he's gonna have to skip his next turn. So every, either way it falls, it's in my favor. You may, you must give me a card from your hand, or skip your next turn. I'm taking that back. Okay. I'm gonna activate Rylus's ability. Okay, let me see if this ability actually works. Okay. Playing these fist. Oh, I get to actually play this card. Okay. What? What is this? A chicken deck? Wait, is there? Are they gonna bleep this out? <laughs> Twice. Okay. I'm gonna block with telepathy. So I'm gonna block the first attack with telepathy so I can look at your hand. Uh, and then I am going to block with purge. Um, that's good. Cool. Now it's my turn. Yep. I know he has a tornado in his hand, and so this card uh, has a spell value less than that. So I'm actually going to swap and hit him with his own tornado, uh, and hopefully he's not going to be able to bite into anything good. Uh, yeah, I'm swapping his feet. He took my card. I knew he was going to do that. Oh! I hit you with Ezra Storm. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's game. Uh, it's just the way that it is. Alright, uh, since you lost last time, you can choose whether you want to go first or not. I'll go first. If I can beat him this round, I've already seen his strategy, so I think I can take him out on the third round. I just gotta draw the right cards that I need. I'll play in flame, and then this this card, you may reveal any number of rage spell cards from your hand. If you do, this spell gains plus three levels for every card revealed this way, so it's already at one, four. Go big or go home. Seven. Ten. Well, that would be very intimidating if I didn't have all of this defense in my hand. I'm gonna rock armor. I'm gonna get an attack towards you. Okay. I'm gonna reverse time, so I'm gonna reverse the turn order and take an extra turn. Cool. Okay. I mean, uh, let's see if I can uh, petrify him one more time. I can't really stop you. Figured I'd ask. Uh, then I'm going to petrify you, so target player must get their next turn and cannot negate spells until the end of that next turn. Okay. Okay, cool. Just make sure. And then. Let's see. I'm actually going to pass turn. I'll play Tornado. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work, big boy. I'm uh, I'm gonna funnel this right back in your hand. Sorry, <laughs> I got carried away. <laughs> okay, just give me my card back. I'll just use it again against you. Uh, I'm gonna reverse time, so I'm gonna take an extra turn. Okay. All these protection cards and going back in time tricks. This is getting old. This is getting old. You gotta get on the offense sometime, Trey. Uh, I'm gonna play Radiant Bolt. Attack target player. This spell cannot be negated. Okay. Two turns. Tornado. Yep. I'm gonna throw that wall up, and uh, you're not gonna hit me. Oh, 
So I'm gonna come out. Uh, let's try something a little more offensive, and uh, let's see if I can see if he can block this arc spark. Two attacks coming right at you. I'm going to attack you with arc spark. Of course, he finally attacks me. Ugh! This is game. Alright, game. Alright, now I like you're getting arc sparked. And you died. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, two down. So we don't even have to go into the third. You're the winner. Well, I don't really know what to say about that one, because that was uh, quite the climactic finale that we had just witnessed, uh, seeing the blessed growth, uh, some arky sparkies and petrifications happening, some crazy stuff. Uh, comment below, let us know your favorite part of this video, uh, we'd be happy to see it. Uh, and if you want to see more Spellslingers Breakdown, be sure to let us know about that, because, uh, you know, we, we do what you want us to. Basically, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If you like what you see here, comment, let us know, and we'll catch you next time on Spell Singers Breakdown. Play more games than everybody else. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. We'll be back for season two. <laughs> Spell <Maybe>. Spell Slingers <laughs> Championship. We can edit that. Championship <laughs> edition. all these cards in my hand, uh, I'm just gonna bless this growth. <laughs> <laughs>Tell the viewers they're going to need to share the videos, comment, like, show us that they like what we have and that they want to see more. They... Exactly what you said. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> share the video. Make like. sure you write a comment box down there and say, how could you defeat I'm gonna believe in the heart of the cards right now to see if I can yeah. draw Savage, because I do, I've got him. If you're gonna run Savage, you need to put three of them in the deck. I did yeah. have all three of them. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, it was unfortunate. Well, that's why I run, I do the rainbow method. I throw a bunch of different colors in there, and a lot of protect. Yeah. I that's know, why, so you, it, it was hard for him to kill me. I was like, man, every single time, I always come back with something else, I was getting annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just die! That was my plan, as long as I could control you, then I win the battle.